All right, everyone. Well, let's go ahead and get started. So again, good morning. Welcome to the Banner 9 SOS Self-Service Webinar. My name is Norberto Valladares, and I am the Customer Care Analyst with ITS. Joining me this morning is Michelle Thomas, Business Analyst 2 with Enterprise Applications. Michelle will be walking you through the overall navigation and changes that were made. So should you have any questions during or after the conclusion of Michelle's presentation, please feel free to ask them in the FAQ. We will do our very best to answer them in the 30 minutes we have scheduled for this webinar. Uh, with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and turn this over to Michelle. Michelle, they are all yours. Hey, good morning, everybody. Thanks for joining us. Um, I'm excited to see some names that I recognize um, from different areas of the college, and I also see some new names. So um, welcome. Uh, thank you for joining us this morning. Um, I will try to move through this as slowly as possible. I'm sorry, I tend to talk a little fast. Um, but I will try and slow it down for you. Um, so the purpose of this training today is to um, basically demonstrate um, and introduce the navigation features and components of the new Banner 9 self-service. Um, it's our previous SOS, but with a new look and feel um, that is so much more user-friendly and a little more modern. And it's also helpful um, that with the new layout to view in a, a mobile device or on a mobile device. Um, so I'm going to share my screen um, so that we can start looking over things. Do that. And again, um, I'm going to slow it down. If you have questions, feel free to place those in the chat, and I will try to get to them as, as soon as I can, um, either during or um, I might save time for afterwards instead to go over the questions and answer those. Um, so here is my screen. Hopefully everyone can see that. Um, so this is the new look. Um, when you go to the website and log into SOS, this is what you're seeing now, the new Banner 9 um, user interface. Um, so as you can see, it's a little brighter, a little more attractive, um, and uh, hopefully better laid out for those of you who access SOS frequently. Um, so the first thing you notice is our big welcome to SOS banner at the top. Um, You'll also notice that the San Jacinto College logo appears in the top left corner. This is going to be on pretty much every page. Um, and what this logo acts as is a navigation back to this home screen. So once you click on a feature, and we'll sh I'll show you that in a little bit. Um, once you click on a feature and you want to navigate back to this home page, you can click on the San Jacinto College link in the top left corner, and it will take you right back here. Um, I'll get into that a little bit more here in just a few minutes, um, but just some other things before we roll along and navigate away from the home page. Um, you'll notice that you've got your settings um, logo up here in the top. Um, I don't think most of you will be using that, um, but there's a few features listed there. And then also the username is, is, appears in the top right corner. Um, the little profile, person profile, um, is where you can click to sign out of SOS. Um, directly below our Welcome to SOS um, banner, you'll notice that there's some tabs that appear here at the top. Um, these tabs are available so that you can quickly navigate to that particular menu item without having to scroll down. Um, you'll notice a lot of the uh, drop-down menus that appear right from the start are mostly student. Um, there is the All User tab that appears first, but after that, you've got a bunch of student menus. And I think for the most part, our users are going to navigate past those. Um, but if you don't want to scroll, the tabs up here in the top will get you to those menus more quickly. Um, so we've got the All User. When you click on um, the Employee uh, tab, you'll notice it takes you directly to the Employee drop-down menu. Um, same with Faculty, Finance. Um, there's all of our student menus, and because there's so many of those, they're collapsed, but you can easily expand those menus. And then, of course, there's the My Work menu. Um, I want to come back to My Work uh, because there's some por important things about that tab that we're going to need to go over. Um, but just know that, that when you click on that, it takes you to that My Work um, page, the previous My Work page. Um, okay. So I'm going to move along, but like I said, I'll backtrack to my work because we've got some other details that we need to talk about there. 
Um, okay, so I'm just refreshing my screen so I can get all of those menus back. Um, but remember, tabs are at the top. These are all tabs. That's what we're calling these. Um, the blue strips or ribbons across the screen, those are the um, drop-down menus. So they're expandable and collapsible um, in order to uh, display more on the page. So all users, um, actually all of the menu items then have different tiles, and that's what we're calling these rectangles here um, within the menu. Um, and you'll notice that the tiles are related to the individual functionality or features within SOS. Um, so for instance, uh, if I wanted to click on this tile for SJC Alert Me, it would take me to that feature, and it's got some information listed there. So again, once you navigate away from that home screen, and one thing I want to demonstrate to you is that those features, and I'm minimizing my window because those features actually open up once you click on them in a new tab. So to navigate back to the home page, as I mentioned before, you can click the San Jacinto College link in the top left corner, or you can simply close the tab, okay? And that takes you back to that initial tab there. Um, like I said, menu items or drop-down menus are expandable and collapsible. You can scroll down to the appropriate uh, drop-down menu, um, or you can click the tabs at the top. Um, some of the ones that we may use a little bit more um, often are um, down here in the employee menu. Um, so we've got our time entry, um, that employee dashboard that we were previously using to um, enter timesheets. That's also available here, but you'll notice it's just accessed in a different way. Um, so it appears on the employee drop-down menu, and it's one of the individual tiles listed on that menu. Okay. Um, one thing I also want to mention here is I've got a lot of access to things here. So I've got student menus, I've got faculty menus, um, I've got employee, but I've also got finance. Um, and not everyone will be able to access all of these features. So you're seeing them on my screen, but depending on your individual user role within SOS, you may not see it when you log into SOS. Um, and again, that's all about access and what you have access to um, based on your user role. Okay, um, so let me just check my notes here. I wanna make sure I'm not missing anything. Um, okay, so uh, one thing I want to point out, and this was in our customer care email, um, this website that I have up right now is the Banner 9 self-service uh, page for IT, that ITS created. Um, Roberto did a fabulous job on this, um, and it's got a lot of the information that we're covering today um, in terms of navigation. Um, so again, it's referencing the tabs, the drop-down menus, and tiles, what those features or items are called. Um, it talks about access. It's got some helpful screenshots listed there. Um, and then this is actually what I wanted to get into next. Um, so I want to work my way then back to this My Work tab. Um, some of you may have access to this tab currently, and some of you may not. Um, I know that one of the issues since we went live um, this weekend uh, has been that faculty, not all faculty have access to this My Work tab. Um, and that's somewhat of a problem, and I'll explain that. Um, but when you click on the My Work tab, and this is not a drop-down item um, in the list here. This is strictly a tab at the top. But when I click here, it actually takes me back to that old Banner 8, our familiar Banner 8 pages. Um, and it brings me to that specific My Work tab where any of the items that my access allowed me um, to, to get to will be listed in that list, as it was in Banner 8. Um, if you're a faculty member um, and you're navigating here, so let me just go back to the home page. Remember, when I log into SOS, this is where I'm going now. Um, and so when I click on the My Work tab, that's what takes me back here to Banner 8. So from Banner 8, if I'm a faculty member, I can click on the Old Faculty Services tab. And one particular thing, and this is the issue that we're having trouble with uh, this morning because not everybody has access to this My Work tab apparently, um, but this is the, these are the steps that will help me get to this Certify Class Rosters link that's listed here. 
Okay, and that's how faculty should access their rosters if they're um, if they're supposed to be certifying today or this week. Okay, and in the future until we um, as long as we continue to use the rosters. Okay, so I'm going to go back one more time. Um, as I mentioned before, if you want to get back to the home page, you can. Um, well, in this particular situation, um, with the old Banner 8, that uh, logo does appear at the top, but it's not a link back to the home page. So in this particular circumstance, I would just close that tab, and that would bring me back to my home page. So again, to navigate back there, I click My Work. That opens up a separate tab with Banner 8. And then from there, I can access some of these older tabs. Um, now keep in mind, all of the a lot of the older stuff um, that was able to navigate to Banner 9, that's no longer going to appear in Banner 8. So for instance, um, the uh, I do have a link to employee dashboard, but um, not all of the features that were previously in Banner 8 will be accessible in Banner 8. We're trying to move everything to Banner 9. Um, but in our custom solutions, for instance, the class rosters, that's a custom homegrown solution, we would access that in Banner 8 at this time still. Um, and that's pretty much it. Until, of course, we have a solution that we can move to Banner 9 um, or you know, something else occurs. So again, to get back, I'm going to close the tab, and I'm back to Banner 8. Excuse me, Banner 9. All right, so I'm going to click on the tab one more time um, just to make sure there wasn't anything else I wanted to cover in terms of navigation. I think that's pretty much it. Uh, but some of the things that I do want to point out on this page, um, this training today is strictly navigation. It's very short and sweet. Um, we've gotten through most of the content already, but really it's just the fundamentals of navigating through the new Banner 9 self-service. Um, it's not getting into the details of finance, Banner Finance or Banner HR. Um, I do want to mention that there's going to be some training or a training for the HR components. Um, so if you haven't heard already, I believe there was an email that went out from HR. They're holding some training sessions. Um, their sessions are going to be more around EPAS, which I think will cater more to our leaders. Um, but they do have two sessions today for the EPAS, uh, one at 10 o'clock and one at 3 o'clock. Um, and if you have questions regarding that, um, there is a distribution list for HRE Pass at sjcd.edu um, that you can email with any questions. Um, and then for finance, um, they are not going to be hosting a separate training for Self Service 9, um, but they are going to be updating any existing documents, training materials, um, tutorials that they have to include the new. Um, self-service nine pages. Uh, and that way there's no confusion and everybody um, sees the latest and the greatest uh, finance pieces in the new Banner 9 self-service. Um, for questions on that, um, Matthew Penny is available in finance. And if you have questions regarding finance um, SSB 9 or self-service 9, you can email him at matthew.penny, that's uh, P-I-N-N-E-Y at sjcd.edu. Um, I can post these email uh, email addresses to the questions or the chat so that we um, everybody has access to that. I will do that here in just a few minutes. Um, so one thing I want to point out on this ITS website is just that there's there is a collection of FAQs from some of the other areas that we're trying to include on this page, and that way our users have kind of that one-stop shop for all things that are Banner 9 self-service. Um, so you'll notice in the FAQ section, there's already um, self-service for students. There's self-service for faculty and advising. Our banner team was very helpful in putting those things together. Um, additional resources, you'll see some HR uh, handouts here. Um, I think these are actually payroll, but web time entry, um, non-exempt uh, full-time and non-exempt part-time um, employee handouts. Uh, so those are available on this website. Um, Training, so this is just referencing this training, but um, I also want to mention that for the training today, um, we are recording and we will be including that recording here on this web page if anybody needs to refer back to it. Um, so that will be available. And then the other thing I want to mention, and I'm sorry, I think I need to refresh my page because there's some missing information. There it is. Okay. 
Um, so for support, uh, Banner 9 self-service support, um, there is a separate distribution list that we have listed so that um, users, if, they know, if you notice that something is missing that was previously in the old Banner 8, or if you stumble upon some functionality within the Self-Service 9 that appears to be broken or not working as it should be, um, we did a lot of thorough testing, but the more our users can get in, um, if you stumble of of across something um, and can report that, we can start troubleshooting quickly and um, hopefully fix that in a timely manner for everybody. Um, so this is the DL for that, DL Banner 9 support. Um, if you can report what you find to that distribution, um, the users or the, the groups there can start researching um, and put in a ticket if we need to. And then, of course, tech support is also available with um, any questions. Okay, so that is pretty much all I have. Um, I'm going to go ahead and um, stop sharing, but I'm going to paste those uh, email distribution list in the chat so that everybody has them for reference. Um, and then I will turn it back over to Norberto so that he can close if he has anything else that he needs to close with. And I appreciate your time. Thank you so much. Thank you, Michelle. The only question I think you may have answered it earlier is from Jennifer Perkins. She asked, should all employees have the My Work tab? She doesn't have it. OK, right. And um, so, yes, we did talk about that a little bit. Um, that's one thing that we found since going live. Um, we, it hadn't been an issue as we were testing. All of our users were able to access the My Work, um, but it could just be a permissions thing. And I want to mention that um, I put in a ticket with our development team this morning, um, first thing, to let them know that we had users experiencing that issue. Um, I actually had a handful of users that also did not have access to the My Work tab. Um, so please know that they are diligently working to resolve that issue, um, and we will make sure that it's communicated out how it was resolved. Awesome. Thank you, Michelle. Well, it looks like that was our only question that we had in this, uh, in this webinar. So unless anyone else has anything, I'll give you all like another minute here before we close out. Um, all right. Um, we've got another question here, Michelle, for the EPATH training, can anyone join? I think I, Michelle, you're, you're on mute right now. Sorry, I was answering okay. your question. You know? <laughs> it's no right. worries. Um, so I actually don't have additional information on that training other than HR is providing it, and it's going to mostly focus on the EPATH. Um, however, I did include that um, DL for HR EPATH, EPATH in the chat. Um, so if you have questions and would like to participate, uh, please reach out to that group um, and let them answer your question on that training. Yeah. Perfect. Thanks, Michelle. All right, everyone. Well, thank you so very much again for joining us this morning. We do hope that the content that was shared today was very helpful. Uh, Michelle has done a fantastic job of providing you all with contact information. Should you all have any additional questions? But thank you so much for joining us. We hope you guys have a great rest of the day. Thank you, Michelle. Thank you.